Hey guys, I'm just going to do uh, some common, I'm going to show you some common math errors that um, that I see a lot of students make. I've been an educator for six years and I've seen these quite often. Um, and the first one is essentially, um, if you're trying to solve this equation, for example, um, I've seen um, many students do the following. Um, they uh, end up canceling the, the x on the numerator with the x on the denominator. Um, and you can't do that, right? So what that x on the denominator means is, uh, is that that x is applied to both terms. So you can't selectively pick off uh, one of the values and not leave the other, right? What you could say is the following, negative 1 over x plus 2. That's fine, right? Because I've taken out the x and I've distributed it to the negative 1 as well. Right, so I'll give you an example numerically to show you that that uh, can't be done. So let's say if I don't have any x's and I just do numbers, right? I can't simply do the following. I can't go cancel, cancel, and I'll just have negative 1 left, right? If I do cancel, and I'm assuming that they're the same, then if I don't cancel at all and I go negative 1 plus 2 over 2, if I just evaluate it straight, I get 1 on the top and 2 on the bottom. Clearly, negative 1 and 1 over 2 are not the same numbers, so this um, cancellation is invalid, right? I cannot do it. Instead, what I would do is I would multiply both sides by x, and I'd get what's called a quadratic equation in standard form, and I'd, uh, and I'd solve for it either by factoring or the quadratic formula. Um, next, um, a lot of students, whenever they're faced with, um, you know, a, a, a quadratic equation, right, such that, you know, like this is, for example, I just made these numbers up, 2x squared minus x plus uh, 6, um, they will one, misread that the value b is actually negative 1, right? So just because there's no number there doesn't mean there isn't a number. doesn't mean the value is 0. The answer uh, is that uh, the, the quantity, the coefficient in magnitude is 1, right? Another issue that I see often is that if b is 1, in the quadratic formula, there's this neat little thing called the discriminant, okay? And what you have to do is you have to square b, right? Now, what they end up doing is they put the following, and that is problematic because that means that uh, if I were a math teacher and I was reading this and I was marking it, I would take maybe half a mark off because what you have to do is you have to square b, and b is negative 1. And what this looks like is you're just squaring 1 and you're putting in a negative. So the true answer to what this term is is negative 1. Whereas in reality, brackets would make that 1, right? So that's another problem. Um, so make sure you always have brackets. Brackets are your best friend in math. Next, uh, this isn't an error really, but more of a, an, an unnecessary step that a lot of teachers teach their students, and it's called cross multiplication. Um, I believe it's unnecessary, right? So cross multiplication um, is such that you multiply the denominator up to the top for both sides, right? So you would end up getting 4x equals 5 times 6, right? Um, which equals 30, so 4x equals 30. Now, the reason why this is unnecessary is that you're already in a stage where you only need one real step, and that's to multiply both sides by 5. And that's it, right? So you don't actually have to do cross multiplication. All you have to do is multiply this side by 5 and this side by 5. And what that does is you end up getting um, the 5s crossed out, and you just get x. You've already isolated. So you got 6 times 5 all divided by 4, and so you get 30 over 4. Right, and that's 15 over 2, which is about seven and a half. Right, so you you just you want to limit the number of steps that you need. Another issue I have is that um, you know you got SOHCAHTOA, opposite hypotenuse, adjacent hypotenuse, opposite adjacent. What does that really mean? Well, it means it's defining side lengths. So which side length do you pick on a triangle um, relative? to an angle that you're considering, right? So if you're dealing with um, a, a, a triangle, let's say, I'm going to choose a special triangle, 30, 60, um, 90, okay? And you want sine 30, 
Okay, sine of 30, right, is opposite over hypotenuse, right, and, and those are side lengths relative to 30 degrees, right? So opposite and hypotenuse will be different for 30 degrees versus 60 degrees, right? So you, typically with these special triangles, you got one opposite the 30, you got two for the hypotenuse and root three. So notice sine 30 is one over two, right, opposite over hypotenuse. Whereas uh, sine 60 is root 3 over 2, so there's a distinction. Remember that it's relative to a given angle, right? Next, um, with exponents, I find uh, if you have to square, right, they do not distribute that exponent of 2 to both terms. Remember, there are two terms inside the bracket. One is 3 and the other is x, right, two elements. And so that 2 applies to both, and the reason why I know that is because there's brackets, right? So typically what they put instead is they leave the 3 alone as if it's uh, untouched, and they just square the 2. That will give you a profoundly different answer um, if you're dealing with an equation, right? So that's uh, some basic uh, math errors that I think think everyone should avoid um, do that uh, and um, math should be slightly easier for you follow us on Instagram Twitter subscribe to us on YouTube leave us a comment like and peace out